Hey everybody, Mr. Backpacker 48 here. Hey, I'm gonna have some fun today because I'm gonna show you one of the foods that we take backpacking with us. Okay, what we're using today is a Gusson Farms uh, chili mix. Uh, there's 37 servings uh, to a three pound can, which comes up to 46 cents per serving, which is pretty cheap compared to a lot of the other dehydrated foods out there. Okay, this product, it has no meat in it, so we actually add our own meat. We dehydrate uh, lean hamburger meat, and uh, it turns into what we call gravel. So I'm going to start the stove up, and then uh, we'll start cooking, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, guys, I got the whisper light going. For uh, two servings, you need two and a quarter cups of water. So I'm going to put the water on. That's two and a quarter cups. So now you get to sit and watch me boil some water. Not. Okay, normally you can put the, uh, the meat right in with it, but what I have found that if you dehydrate the meat uh, before you put it in the chili, it works a little bit better. It softens up the meat a little bit. So what I do is just dump it in a bowl. Just like so, and I take some of this hot water, because we're almost boiling here, and dump it in there, and then just put the lid on it for a little while until that starts boiling good. Okay, we got a good boil going in there, so now I'm just going to actually dump the mix right into the boiling water. And then just start stirring away. Just basically get it to a good boil. Okay guys, this has been, I've had this at a boil for about 10 minutes. Man, it's looking good and it smells good. So now the hamburger, as you can see, is already dehydrated in there. It's fluffed way up. So now I just basically dump the water out of that. And then I just dump the meat in there. Now you can take a jalapeno pepper with you. And kind of slice it and dice it up and put it in there. Man, it's really good stuff. Okay, I got the meat in there, so I'll just let it simmer here for another five minutes. And it'll be good to go. I mean, it smells good. Hey guys, we got it done. We let it simmer for another five minutes. And let me tell you guys, mm, that's pretty good stuff. It's nice to have this sitting around the campfire on a cold evening. And I guess the moral of this story is, there's other alternatives besides Mountain House. And this is a good idea. I think if you try it, you'll like it. So uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.